Hey everybody, welcome back to IP Farms. Well, it's another beautiful day here on the farm in North Carolina. A uh, little colder today than it has been, no big deal. Sun's shining bright. I've uh, been debating on doing this video for a while. I've had several requests for it. Got a lot of subscribers that, you know, I'm sure came in at the very last and have not gone back and looked at the beginning of the video. So basically, uh, probably gonna get long-winded here, but I'm gonna try to divulge the reason behind what I do here at the farm. Uh, We'll start with my history to start off with. Uh, I'm 44 years old. Uh, I've been, you know, around this land and this property and this farm as long as I have memories. Uh, my grandfather passed away um, in 1988. I was 11 years old. Uh, we did get to spend some quality time together, but um, you know, at my young age, I wasn't a whole lot of help and didn't really soak up all the knowledge that I wish I could have while he was still here. Uh, my grandmother, I never got to meet her. I think I've mentioned this a time or two. She passed away in 1974, three years before I was born. Um, I just hope and pray that both of them are looking down, you know, and smiling about trying to continue on the history here at the farm. Uh, there's several living siblings left, direct descendants of my grandfather. My mom's one of them. Uh, she has uh, two, three other brothers that are still living, um, one of the oldest. And then uh, Terry, you see him in the comments quite a bit. Um, he's a history buff like me and my mom are. But you know what? Um, this place laid in derelict for so long and so many years due to um, really just no motivation from myself and lack of funds. And I just, you know, could not stand to see so much legacy just fall by the wayside. Uh, I was young and dumb like we all were at an early age. I actually lived here at the farm for 10 or 11 years. Um, it just never, the stars never aligned to start what I'm doing today then. I've always had a dream of farming this land since my grandfather was alive and since I was a young boy. Um, it takes a whole lot of money to get started. It takes a whole lot of equipment and it takes a whole lot of knowledge. And those three factors really scared me to death throughout the years. Uh, while I was living here about getting started on it. Um, I tried it a couple different times, but I tell you what, the biggest situation that held me back was equipment. I uh, never had any tractors to amount to anything. We had the show tractors, you know, of course you can't do a whole lot with those. I uh, didn't have any actual farm equipment. My grandfather did more cows and uh, he had show dogs, he fox hunted. You know, there were crops here at some point throughout the years, but he wasn't a big row crop farmer, um, did a lot of hay. So uh, what equipment he did have was pretty much revolved around big gardens and hay equipment. Um, not a bale or anything like that, hay rakes, uh, sickle mower, whatnot. But, um, so I just didn't have the equipment to get started. And, you know, at a young age, that's a big investment. So it just continued to just, you know, lay in derelict and uh, I was going on with my life, doing other things, you know, lived here, saw it every day, but just didn't appreciate the value like I do right now about what this place means. Um, after I moved away and uh, the farm continued to just, you know, fall by the wayside, uh, family members are older, a lot of them are distant from here. Um, it, it just it just continued to, to spiral downhill, if you will. Um, I finally got my life together. Uh, for lack of better words, and grew up and matured and realized what was important and where I should be and the things I should be doing. And uh, that was the most awesome experience ever. And I live that daily with the Lord's blessings here at the farm. A wonderful wife, a healthy family, great job. I mean, I, it just doesn't get any better than that. Um, so we decided we were gonna do a reclaim here. Um, and reclaim in my eyes, whether it's proper or not, is basically rebuilding and repairing and getting the property, the buildings, the structures back to what it used to be. I referenced the 1979 picture. That's my ultimate goal. Uh, you know, that was um, what, nine years before my grandfather passed away. It was an aerial shot. It's in my intro. That's how I want this place to look. That's when grandpa had cows. Uh, the barn was in good shape, the buildings were in good shape, the houses were in good shape, and I just feel like that's my ultimate goal is to get that, get this place back to the way it was. Um, I wish I would have started, you know, concentrating on the buildings 
that will not last forever and quit worrying about the fields and planting crops. But you know what, like we talked about in the gold video, the want bucket always outweighs the need bucket. And I wanted to get farming is something I've always wanted to do and I wanted to do it, I wanted to do it, I wanted to do it. But really stepping a couple steps back and taking a look at it, I'm glad it worked out the way it did because I've got the property and the fields 85% where they need to be, where I can maintain them, where it's not gonna get overgrown. Doesn't matter if I don't get seed in the ground right now. Doesn't matter if I don't get seed in the ground next year. It's it's real close and ready, uh, a lot better than it was when I started this. So that's where we are today. Um, you know, taking over the buildings and whatnot, uh, doing the carpentry work, the repair work, all that's going pretty good. Uh, you've all seen the videos of the clearing and and what I'm doing down here in the fields. There's you know going to be more of that. But basically, in a nutshell, why I'm doing what I'm doing is for history, legacy, and to carry on my grandfather's dream, what he worked so hard to have over the years. And, and this doesn't stem just from my grandfather. This, this property goes back hundreds of years to pre-Civil War era. Um, and when I get the farm office finished up, I'm going to have as many of the, the siblings here as I possibly can. And we're going to do more of the story time, if you will, and, and detailing some of it. But, you know, my family owned well over 500 acres in this general area hundreds of years ago. And it, you know, dwindled down to what it ended up being when my grandfather was, you know, alive in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. But what we have is what we're going to continue to have. If I've got anything to do with it, um, you know, we're kind of in a weird location. I've detailed that. We are in the city limits. Uh, there's not much property around here that has any kind of acreage like I do. I mean, this is a small farm compared to most of you guys, but it's my family and my history, and I love every ounce of this dirt here. Um, so we're just keeping it alive. There was no need to let things go downhill. There was no need to let things continue to uh, fall by the wayside, and I just made the choice, and I'm going to follow my farming dream, but to follow that dream, I had to reclaim what my grandfather had ready for me years ago that I let fall to the wayside. So if you're new to the channel, um, thank you very much for being here. Uh, I hope this you know, gives you a little bit of insight on what's going on, uh, the whys and the whens and the hows. Uh, don't hesitate ever to you know, ask any questions about anything video if you if you want more information on you know history about any of the my ancestors or, or what I know I've learned a whole lot through this reclaim just from my uncle and it's brought my whole family closer together uh, on this side of the family my mom's side than we have ever been that I know of and uh, I think that's nothing more than the good Lord above uh, bringing family back together letting us all enjoy it um, you know all the siblings are getting up in age my mom included and um, she loves everything that I'm doing here and I'm going to continue to do it for her, for myself, for my grandfather, for my grandmother, and for everybody that has any history and legacy here at IP Farms. Um, while we're on that subject, I've had been asked several times what IP stands for. Uh, that is my grandfather's initials. Uh, his name was Ira Pope. Um, there is still an active corporation. I just shortened it up for my twist on it when I started the reclaim. Still means the exact same thing and that's what I'm going to go with. So the I in IP Farm stands for Ira and the P in IP Farm stands for Pope. So that's where IP Farms comes from. Um, I'm getting long winded. I'm watching the timer on the camera. I hate for you guys to have to sit here and uh, you know watch me Bible on like this forever. <clears throat> but like I said, I've had a couple requests to do this. So you know, Lord willing and good health and good family, we're going to continue on with this. And the end goal is to get the property as close back to that 1979 picture as I can and to have crops growing here in the ground. And that's, that's what we're going to do. Um, I've had a lot of diversions and a lot of uh, miscellaneous reasons to, uh, you know, shift gears and change lanes and all that other stuff. But I feel like and with YouTube here that everything I'm doing is directly related to what I started out doing and that was reclaiming. Whether it's this farm office from my, you know, family to enjoy, for myself to get in out of the weather, you know, repairing the, the barn, the home structure here, you know, building lean-tos for my equipment to stay in, uh, fixing and repairing equipment that I've got. I mean, I, I've still got a lot to get. 
Uh, what I do have needs a lot of repairs. We've talked about that, but there's really no time constraint on it. And that's my worst character flaw with my OCD is just putting a, a time frame on everything. Um, in the beginning, I was worried a lot about, you know, the following here on YouTube when I did it, uh, that you guys would get bored with it. And you may have, um, but I can promise you this, that what I set out to do in the very beginning when I started this and when I started the channel will be the end result one day. I can't really put a time frame on it, but that is the ultimate goal uh, to be farming here on this piece of property. So hopefully you all enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I've tried to take this a couple of times and you know, I always end up forgetting something, saying something wrong or whatever. We're not gonna make this a 20 minute babbling video. We're already close to 11 minutes. So we're gonna try to wrap it up and say, um, this is the 2022 version of why I'm doing the reclaim here at IP Farms, my reasoning behind it and where I want it to go. And hopefully you guys will continue to follow along the journey with me. You have so far, the, the support and the motivation is just, it's second to none. I mean, there, there's a lot of days that, you know, things are going on behind the scenes and I don't want to come, but I almost feel obligated to, uh, bring you guys along for what's going on. And as soon as I think about that, my motivation goes right through the roof and, and I'm right back to it. I got a lot of good friends from here. I keep in touch with a lot of you guys behind the scenes, uh, you know, text messages and phone calls and Facebook and messenger and whatnot. I really enjoy that. Um, you know, the Lord just blessed me. I mean, that's, that's, that's the bottom line. There's no other way that I can say it. And the Lord has blessed me with everything that I have right now and everything that I'm doing, including you guys. And just want to say thank you for that. Thank you, Lord, for that. And we're going to continue on day by day, best we can. Until next time, thank you.